for today's video I am going to be showing you guys different hairstyles to do for very natural wavy hair. So first of all I just want to introduce my hairstyle. So this is like kind of natural, well this is literally natural, I haven't brushed it. But it is like wavy and flat and <laughs> it's not very like great, it's very frizzy. If I brushed it, it would literally be out here. So my first tip for you guys if you have hair like this. Don't brush it unless you're going to straighten it or something. I know that sounds absolutely disgusting, but you literally can't. It will just frizz up. But yeah, this hair is really hard to manage and do things with. So I just thought I'd show you guys some simple, easy hairstyles that if you didn't want to brush it, you can actually make your hair still look like you've made an effort and it actually will still look nice. If you do enjoy this video, please smash it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's just get into the video. For this hairstyle it's pretty simple, all you need to do is section your hair, so the first side like I've just sectioned the top half and then you do the exact same on the other side and then basically with the top part just like flatten it out a little bit just so it all evens together rather than being all bumpy and all over. Then what you want to do is just make sure it's equal, make sure the sides are where you want them to be and then you just need to tie that bit up into like a ponytail. I use quite thin bobbles to do this and just a tip if you've got quite long hair so that it doesn't get knotted in the rest of it. If you push your hair forward and put the ponytail forward when you're doing it, it won't knot to the rest of your hair because I used to take this out all the time and it used to literally kill. So that's how I now do that. And then finally, I just pulled out the little front bits and just made it a little bit more messy because I don't like my hair being too neat. And that's the first hairstyle pretty much done. For the next hairstyle you want to stick with the half up half down that you've already got and then I just took the long part of my ponytail and I plaited this all the way down my hair so basically if you know how to plait then just plait it but if you don't you just take it into three strands and I don't really know like put them on top of each other all the way down you can kind of see what I'm doing with my hands but if you need a bit more in depth of how to plait, I have got another hairstyle video that's linked down in the description and that's more in depth of how to do plaits. So if you want to go and check that out. But yeah, so I plaited it all the way down to the bottom and then I just sealed it or like put it in with a little, I'd have used an elastic band but I didn't have one so I used one of the thin bobbles that I have. So yeah, that is the end of this hairstyle. Um, basically, it's just exactly the same as the other one, but this one has like a plait down it. It makes it just a little bit more different, and I actually use this one quite often. It just makes it a bit more like you've made an effort when realistically it took you about five minutes. Now for this hairstyle you want to remove the bobble and keep in what you already had um, and just for this I just plaited it like right to the end because my hair doesn't go all the way down to the end when I put a plait in it because it's got layers and then all you want to do is basically put this into a bun all I did is wrap it round this makes it sort of a flower effect now in this tutorial you cannot see that it looks like a flower but that is what it's meant to be but yeah it's just a simple bun Now for the next hairstyle you want to take like little strands, I wouldn't say really from the side, it's more from like where your ear is and you just want to do these in really really thin plaits. You want to do this on like the first side and then do it on the other side exactly the same. After you go to plait the other side, just keep this in place, you can use like a bobby pin or anything but I just find these like what you use when you're straightening your hair I find them really really easy to use so I popped one of those in one side whilst I plaited the other side then you can just take that out but make sure you don't lose your plaits because mine come out so easy so I just had to drop that down and then you just need to pull these like to the back of your head now I did try and do this by tying them together but because of my hair it just didn't work so I ended up taking a thin bobble and I just basically wrapped that round and tied it in place where I wanted it but yeah, this is the end result of this one. I really like this one. I don't really do this one that much, like, that often. But I do actually really like it. And again, like I always do, I just made it a bit more messy at the front and just made it a little bit more, 
like me. Um, and also, if it comes out like this, which I was like, oh, you can literally just tuck it back under the plait and it just goes back in. So yeah. Now, if you watch my last hairstyle tutorial, you will know how much I like doing these type of hair, like, styles. <laughs> so basically, I just sectioned the top of my hair, but then took the really front part of it. It doesn't have to be equal, by the way, because I know that definitely wasn't. So what you want to do is do one plait instead of the two that I normally do, and you just want to plait it across the back of your head. Now, I do these as Dutch braids rather than, well, a Dutch braid rather than the French plaits because... I don't like how the French plaits sit in, I prefer how the Dutch braids like sit on the top of your head. So I just did that and plaited it. If you like, you can kind of see how I'm doing it, but again, if you need a more in-depth tutorial, if you go to my other hairstyle video. But yeah, I just kept adding sections of my hair to make it a little bit thicker, and I just plaited back to where I wanted it to go. So yeah, I didn't go all the way down with this one. I just took it to like halfway in my head. Does that even make sense? Like to where you'd put a normal bobble if you was having it half up, half down. And then I just tied it in place with a bobble. And yeah, just made it a little bit more messy and pulled my front baby hairs out. And yeah, that is pretty much this hairstyle done. Sticking with what I already had, I just took the bobble and wrapped my hair around it. This is how I put my hair in a messy bun. So this is also another one, like another tip in case you want to put your hair in a messy bun. But yeah, I just tied a bobble around it to try and keep it in place, made it a little bit messy. I know this look is really, really good for festivals and obviously it's coming up to festival season. So I really like this hairstyle and you can add glitter or whatever. But yeah, I really liked this one and it's just super easy and super simple. This next hairstyle guys, just leave it down, literally just have it natural. I actually love this hairstyle, I have it all the time <laughs> and you might think oh she just literally gets up and doesn't brush her hair and that is exactly what I do but I actually quite like this hairstyle, it's quite natural, you've just got your natural hair, so yeah. For this hairstyle I split my hair into like two sections, I know this isn't exactly like the middle but that's where my part intends to go. So I sectioned one hair, one side of my hair off with a bobble and this is literally how I did in my last tutorial. This is where I just plaited the two top parts of my hair but obviously the ending is going to be a bit different. So yeah, if you've seen this before then obviously but it's just pretty much doing the Dutch braids across the top of my hair. I'd done them on both sides I then took the um, bits where the bobbles in and I made these into like buns instead so like the kind of space buns um, so I'm just wrapping the hair around like I just did in the last tutorial but yeah I'm just wrapping my hair around making them a little bit messy and then tying them in place with the bobbles I keep forgetting what they're called Tying them in place with bobbles, again I just used thin ones and I did this on both sides of my hair. Now obviously this is really really messy so you can use more bobbles or like grips to keep it in place. But I think this one's really edgy and I really like this one. Especially like I said for festivals, this is really really cute. I really really hope you enjoyed this. I'm trying to rush this up because literally my camera battery is about to die. But I really hope you did enjoy. Please smash the big thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And yeah, that is it from me. I really hope you enjoyed these types of videos. 
and just let me know down in the comments any videos that you would like to see in the future from me but yeah i really hope you did enjoy and yeah i'll see you next week with a brand new video bye